Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. You all are the blessedness of the Father, and I really want to bless the Lord for each and every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I just wanted to share this um, testimony as a, just to basically open the scene up to help us to understand what I'm speaking about today. I remember there was a time I was in a sanctuary and um, where I was at that particular moment. Uh, it was a place where, you know, I was trying to love everybody. Yeah, I was, I was trying to love everybody because at first they seemed to be uh, loving people, but eventually the tide turned. Yeah, they loved at first, but then the tide turned. And it was a place where I found myself to, that every time I tried to love them, you know, it was, it was not, it was not at all easy in any way, but then gradually i was just trying to do as much as i can love them as much as i can but then when i couldn't take it anymore <laughs> i had to go to the lord and i cried unto the lord and i said lord i'm trying to love your people but yet i am not receiving any love back is this something that i've done help me to understand it because it's a struggle and i'm help i'm just trying to ask you for help you know it was a place where i was really asking the lord for help amazingly just a couple of days after that the lord began to show me and he said you see you have to understand that the love dimension in which you have come into not everybody can love like you do they love with conditions but you love unconditionally so regardless of their behavior you still continue to love them but they cannot love you in that dimension because of either where they are, what they're going through, the circumstances in which they are focused on has not allowed them to see me the way they ought to see me. But you have kept your focus on me. That is why regardless of their behavior, you are able to love them anyway. And in that moment, it gave me kind of a full assurance and rest and helping me to continue to love the people regardless of their behavior. And I share that testimony because I know majority of us, we've come into a dimension where we're trying to love the people, but we're not receiving that love back. But the Lord wants to assure you that the reason why they can't love you is because you're so much in a higher dimension in the Father. But the Father is still trying to help you to love them regardless of the way they behave. You see, there is so much that is happening upon creation at this moment in time. And people, rather than love, they're showing a different dimension of love which is not in the father. Do you know the man in prison who probably raped somebody is looking for love to be reconciled to the father? Yes, the murderer is basically looking for love to be reconciled to the father, regardless of what they might have done. You see what Jesus said in his word when he said prostitutes will enter into the kingdom of heaven? Because a lot of them are able to receive than to what than what we are giving unto them so it's a place where even for some of us it's a place where the father is saying i want to open you up even a lot more to be able to receive love from me yes because some of us we know how to give love but we don't know how to receive love i believe this comes from a dimension of whether you know through the things that we've been through relationships because a lot of people they tend to love us conditionally yes they tend to love us with conditions because if you look at the whole religious sect I, like i always say religion is not people but religion is a spirit so if you look at religion in itself it gives you conditions they did it to apostle paul right remember in the book of acts i believe chapter 27 when apostle paul was there speaking to them concerning you know the resurrection of christ immediately he's mentioned that he was a pharisee it, you know there's people who were persecuting him eventually they turn they say wow it's one of us it's one of us so you can see what religion does it chooses sides religion chooses sides and that's what they did to our lord and savior on the cross religion they chose sides they said crucify him crucify him but the father in his amazing wonder look at what jesus manifested on the cross even the thief on the left hand side and the thief on the right was still saying to him hey if you're the son of god you come down but the other one said, you know, this man hasn't done anything wrong, but we've done a lot of things wrong. And he said, remember me in paradise. So you can see the dimension of Jesus that even on the cross, he was still showing love. So you can understand the scripture that says 
It says that what? Love the Lord with all your heart, all your might, and all your soul. And the second commandment is this. Love the Lord. It says love the Lord as you love yourself. So you can begin to understand. Love your neighbor. That's the word. As you love yourself. It says as you love yourself. So a lot of people are struggling to love themselves. And they're trying to love their neighbor. You're doing it the other way around. <laughs> Do you see that dimension? But the father wants to teach you how to receive love. Because if you read the word, and I believe this is in the dimension of the book of First John chapter 4 verse 10. He said we love because he first loved us. So what does that mean? It means before you can love. Yes, before you have the ability to love. Yes, you have to learn how to receive love first. So a lot of us, we've been doing things in the wrong way, trying to love the people, whereas we are not receiving love ourselves. But this is the time because, you know, sometimes when you love people a little bit too much, it can turn into slavery. Yes, they take your love for granted and it can turn to bullying. Yes, because they know that you're going to love anyway. So they have the, you've given them the license to be able to treat you however way you ought to be treated. But that is not true because the father does not treat you in that dimension because whether you know, the Bible declares he doesn't, you know, his love. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So he loved the world so much that he gave his son that whosoever might believe in him. So you can see the dimension of the father's love because the father's love is without conditions. But people will say, if you do this for me, I will love you. If you come to my side, I will love you. If you support me, I will love you. If you do this for me. So you can see the conditions that religion has attached to love. And this is the reason why Christ has brought us out of religion to experience love. That when you understand the Father's love, when you hold on to the Father's love, understanding the dimension in which he loves you, you are now able to go forth and love the people the way they ought to be loved. Not putting yourself in harm's way, not allowing people, you know, to walk over you, not allowing people, you know, to treat you, you know, in, with disrespect with dishonor no not at all because even all of the disrespect and the dishonors comes because you have laid yourself down for people to just maltreat you and that is not the way of the father the reason why they behave that way is because that is the way they have been taught to love but the father is saying to you today that i have looked upon you and I know the capacity of love that is inside of you because you're loving exactly the same way I love when I gave my only begotten son. So the reason why people are treating you the way that you're being treated at this point in time is because they have not experienced the dimension of love that you have become. Hence the reason why the father is saying, let your love, let it be discerning. Yes. So don't allow yourself. Don't feel guilty. Yes. If you're not, if they're not receiving your love, don't feel, you know, like you have to perform before they can receive your love. No, not at all. If they love you, yes, they will come and they will love you exactly the way the father intends for you to be loved. But when you keep pushing for them to love you, you can lose so much respect you can lose so much dishonest but the father doesn't want that for you hence the reason why he's saying now it's time to come and let me help you to receive love again so when you receive this love then you're able to love the people the way they ought to be loved so you can see that dimension with jesus jesus loved everybody yes he loved everybody and he showed this love to the people like i said even to the cross he was still showing love father forgive them because they don't know what they do that is the dimension when you see people and acting the way they're acting because most of the time it is not their fault and the dimension of love in which you have come to when they witness it in you they themselves will be like how were you able to love through that behavior that I was manifesting to you? How were you able to love when I betrayed you? How were you able to love when I did all manner of things unto you? But then it's where you're able to give that answer. If it had not been the Lord on my side, I would not have been able to love the way I have loved up until now. That's what the Father is trying to show you. That the love that you have become is in oneness with him. They might not understand it, but the Father totally understands it. So, don't look at their rejection 
as it's their fault. Don't look at what they're going through as it's their fault because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's a place where you pray for them as the Father leads you to. But then don't put yourself in that situation where you're going to be trampled on yet again. No, yet come out of that. The Bible declares, Remember in the book of Mark, I believe chapter 7, when Jesus healed the man's eyes and he could see clearly, he said, don't go back into the village. So sometimes when the father has healed you in your heart, in your soul, he will tell you, don't go back to that relationship. Don't go back to that business. Don't go back to that place where they hurt you. Don't make, don't, 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 no, don't, don't do that. Don't put yourself in that harm's way because you are now healed and you've now been made whole. And I'm walking you in that dimension because you know why? There are so many people for you to love if they don't love you i am bringing people who will love you without conditions they loved you with conditions right yes they did they loved you with conditions now that's why they can walk away from you and not regret anything about it but the lord is saying i am bringing new relationships to you where they will love you they will love you with my heart they will love you with my spirit and everything that happened to you in times past will not the it's says the memories will be there but the hurts the disappointment the rejections and all that they did to you will not be there because i would have healed the emotions that are attached to it so it's a place where most of the time when people walk away from us we have to be glad we have to be grateful do you know why because he's making room for much more for you to receive do you see him? So it's a place where the father is saying, I want to teach you, yes, how to even receive so much love. So in the place where I am teaching you, I want to heal the betrayals. I want to heal the rejections. I want to heal the hurts. I want to heal the disappointments. I want to be able to touch those places and bring an end to them. So in that way, I can free your spirit up even so much more that you are able to receive so much love love from the father and when you receive this love you will see that even when you meet them in the future and you know they exhibit the same behavior it will not even bother you at all because you know why you have been made whole <laughs> do you see that dimension he healed you but when he brought them back and they try to do the same thing again do you know what's happened you have been made whole when you do not when you do not react the way they expect you to react when they tried it with you but you did not even submit to what it is that they're doing you're like well god bless you and you kept moving and this is what the father intends to do with you in this hour and this is where he's saying i'm calling you even to a dimension of love a dimension of love and you're going to know love in a new way remember the samaritan who was robbed on the way the priest came walked by the levites came <laughs> he walked by you would have thought the priest would help him because he's a man of god but he looked at him and kept walking isn't that religion right there the levites came as well looked at him and said ah, ah i don't want anything to do with them those are friends relations our you know our, those that are around us they look at us ah, i don't i don't think i want to get into all of that no not at all you have all the time for them but they don't have the time for you they want you to be there for them but they're never there for you and the father is like you know let them go he walks away but now jesus the bible says the good samaritan came along and what did he do he helped him up placed him on the donkey and took care of him god is about to release so much on you in this hour and people that will take care of you they will love you they will love you they will love who you are and it would not be with conditions because this is what the father had intended right from the beginning for you because a lot of us we went into all of these things and now look at the way they treated us <laughs> and now the father is bringing you out so that he can restore to send you on your journey the way it has always been right from the very beginning so back to my testimony where i was sharing right from the very beginning so they couldn't love not at all because everybody was choosing sides well i've known this person for so long i'm going to speak to him i've known that person for so long i'm going to speak to him well you you're new here so you know you can keep doing what you're doing and everybody went on doing what they were doing but when i cried to the father it was amazing how the father turned it around he healed me of those places still a dimensional place and he said i've healed you of those places and when he took those hurts he took everything out and i returned back to the place it felt like nothing had happened i was even able to love them even with their behaviors well all right thank you so very much god bless you and i kept on going because their behaviors did not affect 
anymore. Why? Because I have understood that if God be for me, who can be against? The same thing with you. If God be for you, who can be against you? And what can separate you from the love of Christ? People can walk away. Parents can walk away. Husbands can walk away. Wives can walk away. Children can walk away. But God will never because he said i will never leave you nor forsake you so this is the encouragement i just wanted to bring today just to help you to understand that it is time to be loved and it is time for you to love again in jesus name amen and amen i love you all so very much stay blessed in the presence of the father and remember yes some of you have entertained angels without you knowing always put on love in jesus name amen